It's not hard to imagine Maserati executives were watching the growth of main luxury car brands including BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and even Porsche too. But after all, Porsche, just like Maserati, is a relatively small automaker, smaller than its image and legacy suggests. Maserati too has history, prestige, and Italian pedigree, all hallmarks of an exclusive sport luxury brand. So can the all new Maserati Ghibli compete with the main luxury car brands? Let's go ahead and find out. Now the Ghibli is almost a foot shorter than Maserati's big Quattro Porte, but it uses many of the same steel and aluminum components. Also shared is the Ferrari built turbocharged V6 engine. Now this one I have here is a 2015 Ghibli S Q4. Now the styling of the vehicle, I love the styling of it. And it definitely has that Italian, those Italian looks I really like. I think it's better looking than a lot of the German sedans. It's really the front end that really makes the vehicle stand out though, however. Now here's the key fob design of the vehicle. And just like the styling of the vehicle, I love the key fob design. Um, you have your Maserati logo right here, and then you have your lock right here, unlock, and to release your trunk and remote engine start as well. However, I'm not finding a panic button, which is kind of interesting, I have to say. Now, I particularly like these 20-inch Urano alloy polished rims with the red brake painted calipers and you do have your Maserati logo right there on the red painted calipers as well. Now it is a white exterior with chrome door handles and smart key access on the driver and passenger door. With a nice two-toned black and brown leather interior. And you do have your power driver's seat with power recline and power lumbar too. Now stepping on into the interior of the Ghibli, as you can see it's very high quality inside of here. Now you do have push button ignition, of course. Just put your foot in the brake, hit the button to start. And what you're hearing, of course, is that 3-liter twin-turbo Ferrari-built V6 engine. Sounds really great. And you do have an 8-speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability, of course. And putting it into reverse displays your rear-view camera with guidance lines. And you do have manual shiftability via the paddle and shifters. Let's go ahead and turn the lights and the hazards. All windows are fully automatic in the Ghibli, of course. And let's go ahead and pop the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signals, of course. Beautiful exterior design. HID headlights with LED daytime running lights and LED turn signals too. And I just love the grill of the Maserati Ghibli. And you do have front parking sensors too. And I love how the hood is sculpted, how it curves down like that. It's just, it's very, very unique in its styling compared to some of the German sedans. Now under the hood, like I said, you will find a 3 liter twin turbo V6 engine Ferrari built with 404 horses and 406 pound feet of torque with EPA estimates of being 15 in the city and 25 on the highway. It's a very powerful motor. Now pricing of the Ghibli starts at $65,600. Now 
that's a bargain depending on how you think about it because the Ghibli um, doesn't really come well equipped. It doesn't come equipped with even Bluetooth. You have to get a certain package to even get that. However, if you're looking for that Maserati nameplate and the good looks, then it will be a bargain for you. But the base model does start at around 65 grand, and then you have the SQ4 model, which starts at $75,700. Now this one we have here is about $93,000. Now, competitors of the Ghibli range from the BMW 5 Series to the Mercedes-Benz E-Class. But however, the Ghibli is sort of in a class of its own, I have to say. There is no really direct main competitors of the Ghibli, except for maybe the BMW 5 Series. But it's just a very great looking car. And I really do love the Italian looks that the German sedans just cannot match. Now coming to the rear you have dual exhaust tips, LED tail lights with LED turn signals as well, rear parking sensors, and your Q4 logo and your Ghibli logo. Very uniquely styled designed of taillights. Nice curvaceous styling. Now of course you do have your power windows, power mirrors, power door locks too, and memory seat settings for two people. And I really do like the carbon fiber trim going throughout the whole interior. And then of course everything is soft touch and padded. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and rev up that sweet Ferrari built engine and see how she sounds. That's a great sounding engine. I love that sound of that twin turbo V6. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, um, materials and build quality are excellent throughout the Ghibli. I really don't know why other automotive critics are complaining about it. Um, I feel like it's very well built. You have nice stitching up here and nice stitching, very soft touch padded material. Um, everything is soft touch for the most part. And even over here, over here as well, everything feels well bu built in my opinion. Now coming down here you do have your carbon fiber trim which I really love. And then you have your cup holders too. And then a little storage compartment right here. And then down here you will find a USB port and an auxiliary input too. And then coming to your center console you will find a 180 watt power outlet. And then also you will find, I guess, two cup holders right there, I'm guessing. <laughs> now coming up here, of course, you do have your auto dimming rear view mirror, your interior illumination lighting, your garage home link, and then your sunroof. With your sunroof controls. And then you have a really nice Alcantara headliner that's very high quality. Now, coming to your steering wheel, I love this steering wheel design. It has a really nice, thick, uh, sporting feel, I have to say. I really love it. Now, coming to these controls over here, these, this control over right here, this button right here, controls your TFT display in the center right there. 
and then you have your voice recognition and your Bluetooth too and your cruise control buttons and then you have some buttons on the back of the steering wheel on each side which controls your touch screen interface now coming to your gauges I really love the gauges on the Ghibli and you have your little Maserati emblem right there now coming to your TFT display and the center screen right there it's going to show you all your vehicle information including your stored messages, your what radio station you're on, your trip computer of course and your fuel economy data and other vehicle information including your tire pressure monitoring too and then you have a digital speedometer and really nice graphics and rendering too I really like it a lot now let's get to the main interface here this is what they use on Dodges and Chrysler's and Jeeps and it works it's a very well rendered interface it works very well but it's your choice if you think if it's bad if it's on a Chrysler product but personally I do like it because it does everything right it's it works really great on a day-to-day -day basis and it's very user-friendly too now you do have your AM FM satellite radio and I think they should put this interface on many other different cars it's one of the top rated ones in the business and you do have your CD player of course and your different media options like Bluetooth streaming audio your USB and your auxiliary then you have your heated seats your heated seat controls right here and you could control your climate from here just in case if you don't want to use traditional knobs and buttons then you have your navigation system now that's probably the only thing I don't like about this interface is probably the navigation um, it works very well it's very user friendly however it's a Garmin navigation system however I just uh, think the rendering and the graphics could be a little bit better but oh, all in all it works very well and of course you have your Bluetooth and you could change different vehicle settings like the lights and you could change the clock and the day and um, the door and the locks all in all it works very well I love this interface to death now coming to your center stack you have dual zone automatic climate control and I really love the simplicity of this layout they didn't use touch sensitive buttons or anything like that how you will find on Cadillacs and Lincolns and things like that and I really love the simplicity of it and it works very well but you have your fan speeds right here and then of course what temperature you want and then if you want the AC off or on then you have your window to, rear window defroster button right there and then you also do have a SD card slot too down there and you also do have a CD player now the ride and the handling in the Ghibli are exquisite the ride is very compliant and the handling it has very sharp handling and the BMW 5 series just cannot match the Ghibli's handling and the BMW 5 series has definitely gone with a more comfort oriented feel now as far as the seats go in the Ghibli they're very comfortable very supportive and like I said earlier in the video I love the design of them you have your Maserati emblem right there and they just have a really nice feel to them and a really nice look as well very high quality now you will also find a 280 watt sound system with eight speakers around the cabin now down here you will find nice aluminum pedals and then a little coin box right there and then a nice power tail and telescopic steering wheel alrighty and let's go ahead and shut down the Ghibli now you also do have a little analog clock up there <laughs> and then as far as visibility goes of the Ghibli the C pillar is pretty thick but all in all visibility is okay the mirrors do show quite a lot they have a nice um, squarish design to them and they do show quite a lot and visibility for the most part is pretty good the A pillar is a little thick however and it is wrapped in this really nice Alcantara that you'll find on the headliner too so coming to your different drive modes you just have one drive mode it's a sport mode and then you have your normal mode of course but you can turn it off and on and it tells you up here and the sport mode is definitely going to give it more of a sporting flair now coming down here you have your coin box right there and a power tilt and telescopic steering wheel 
Alrighty, and let's go ahead and shut down the Ghibli. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the car. Let's go ahead and check out the trunk capacity as well as the rear seat passenger space. Now, build quality and materials do follow through in the rear. Still very nice and soft to the touch and padded. And you do have power door lock switches back here, which is pretty unique. And of course, the carbon fiber trim does still follow through in the rear. Now, access inside of the Ghibli back here is actually pretty good. I don't have to duck my head that much, despite that this seat pillar is pretty uniquely styled. And um, the rear seat space back here is pretty good, I have to say. It is a little smaller than, say, a 5 Series or a Lexus GS, but it's still decently sized. You do have your rear air vents back here, your dual map pockets. Your center storage with a USB port and a 12 volt power outlet. And a cup holders back here too. And the seats themselves are very comfortable. We do have a tunnel back here, of course, it's rear wheel drive. Alright. And the trunk lid does lift all the way up for you. Nice little convenient feature. Now the trunk capacity, it, it does go pretty far in, but it's not very wide, I have to say, but it's decent. You do have a little storage cubby right there too, and a power outlet right there as well. But some competitors offer power trunk lids. Full power passenger seat with power recline and power lumbar. Your glove box compartment, line what felt, nice and damp, and soft to the touch, very high quality. Alrighty. Now, despite that the Maserati Ghibli uses an electronics interface that is used in many Chrysler products, the Maserati Ghibli brings a welcome dose of Italian power, speed, and style to the mid-size luxury sedan class that is usually dominated by German sports sedans. Now remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews. Thousand dollars. Now competitors of the Ghibli range from the BMW 5 Series to the Mercedes-Benz E-Class, but however the Ghibli is sort of in a class of its own, I have to say. There is no really direct main competitors of the Ghibli, except for maybe the BMW 5 Series. But it's just a very great looking car. And I really do love the Italian looks that the German sedans just cannot match. Now, coming to the rear, you have dual exhaust tips, LED tail lights with LED turn signals as well, rear parking sensors, and your Q4 logo, and your Ghibli logo. Very uniquely styled design of tail lights. Nice curvaceous styling. Now of course you do have your power windows, power mirrors, power door locks too. And it does start at around 65 grand. And then you have the SQ4 model, which starts at $75,700. Now this one we have here is about $93,000. Now competitors of the Ghibli range from the BMW 5 Series to the Mercedes-Benz E-Class. But however, the Ghibli is sort of in a class of its own, I have to say. There is no really direct main competitors of the Ghibli, except for maybe the BMW 5 Series. But it's just a very great looking car. 
And I really do love the Italian looks that the German sedans just cannot match. Now, coming to the rear, you have dual exhaust tips, LED tail lights with LED turn signals as well, rear parking sensors, and your Q4 logo and your Ghibli logo. Very uniquely styled design of tail lights. which starts at $75,700. Now this one we have here is about $93,000. Now competitors of the Ghibli range from the BMW 5 Series to the Mercedes-Benz E-Class. But however, the Ghibli is sort of in a class of its own, I have to say. There is no really direct main competitors of the Ghibli, except for maybe the BMW 5 Series. But it's just a very great looking car. And I really do love the Italian looks that the German sedans just cannot match. Now, coming to the rear, you have dual exhaust tips, LED tail lights with LED turn signals as well rear parking sensors, and your Q4 logo, and your Ghibli logo. Very uniquely styled design of taillights. Nice curvaceous styling, more comfort oriented feel. Now as far as the seats go in the Ghibli, they're very comfortable, very supportive and like I said earlier in the video, I love the design of them. You have your Maserati emblem right there and they just have a really nice feel to them and a really nice look as well, very high quality. Now you will also find a 280 watt sound system with 8 speakers around the cabin. Now down here you will find nice aluminum pedals and then a little coin box right there and then a nice power tail and telescopic steering wheel. Alrighty, and let's go ahead and shut down the Ghibli. Now you also do have a little analog clock up there. <laughs> and then as far as visibility goes of the Ghibli, the C pillar is pretty thick, but all in all visibility is okay. The mirrors do show quite a lot. They have a nice um, squarish design to them and they do show quite a lot and visibility for the most part is pretty good the a pillar is a little thick however and it is wrapped in this really nice alcantara that you'll find on the headliner too so coming to your different drive modes you just have one drive mode it's a sport mode and then you have your normal mode of course but you can turn it off and on and it tells you up here and the sport mode is definitely going to give it more of a sporting flair now coming down here you have your coin box right there and a power tail and telescopic steering wheel. And what you're hearing of course is that 3 liter twin turbo Ferrari built V6 engine. Sounds really great. And you do have an 8 speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability of course and putting it into reverse displays your rear view camera with guidance lines and you do have manual shiftability via the paddle and shifters. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards. All windows are fully automatic in the Ghibli of course and let's go ahead and pop the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signals, of course. Beautiful exterior design. HID headlights with LED daytime running lights and LED turn signals, too. 
And I just love the grill of the Maserati Ghibli. And you do have front parking sensors too. And I love how the hood is sculpted. Power door lock switches back here, which is pretty unique. And of course the carbon fiber trim does still follow through in the rear. Now access inside of the Ghibli back here is actually pretty good. I don't have to duck my head that much despite that this seat pillar is pretty uniquely styled. And um, the rear seat space back here is pretty good, I have to say. It is a little smaller than, say, a 5 Series or a Lexus GS, but it's still decently sized. You do have your rear air vents back here, your dual map pockets. Your center storage with a USB port and a 12 volt power outlet. And a cup holders back here too. And the seats themselves are very comfortable. We do have a tunnel back here, of course, it's rear wheel drive. Alright. And the trunk lid does lift all the way up for you. Nice little convenient feature. Now the trunk capacity, it, it does go pretty far in, but it's not very wide, I have to say, but it's decent. You do have a little storage cubby right there too. And a power outlet right there as well. But some competitors offer power trunk lids. With a nice two-toned black and brown leather interior. And you do have your power driver's seat with power recline and power lumbar too. Now stepping on into the interior of the Ghibli, as you can see it's very high quality inside of here. Now you do have push button ignition, of course. Just put your foot in the brake, hit the button to start. And what you're hearing, of course, is that 3-liter twin-turbo Ferrari-built V6 engine. Sounds really great. And you do have an 8-speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability, of course. And putting it into reverse displays your rear-view camera with guidance lines. And you do have manual shiftability via the paddle shifters. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights. And the hazards. All windows are fully automatic in the Ghibli, of course. And let's go ahead and pop the hood and check $700. Now this one we have here is about $93,000. Now competitors of the Ghibli range from the BMW 5 Series to the Mercedes-Benz E-Class. But however, the Ghibli is sort of in a class of its own, I have to say. There is no really direct main competitors of the Ghibli, except for maybe the BMW 5 Series. But it's just a very great looking car. And I really do love the Italian looks that the German sedans just cannot match. Now, coming to the rear, you have dual exhaust tips, LED tail lights with LED turn signals as well, rear parking sensors, and your Q4 logo, and your Ghibli logo. Very uniquely styled design of tail lights. Nice curvaceous styling 